Behind me is an exciting two-story, three-bedroom style of travel trailer, completely taking over the industry by storm. This is the 2024 Salem Grand Villa. It's a Model 42 FLDL. We are going to be taking a look at all the features of the outside and inside, and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Behind me is one of the biggest RVs in the history of RVs. It is super exciting what's going on on the inside. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good guys. I'm so excited to show you the Salem 42 FLDL because these uh, destination style travel trailers, they're just take, you know, they're just taking off big time. Uh, especially with like housing and all that getting expensive, this is a great alternative. I don't know about that, Well, I don't know if it's a great alternative, but... I think it, it is. It's a great alternative for like a second house, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like a lake house or a beach house or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Let's begin. Model is 42 DLFL. The actual tip-tip length is 41 feet 7 inches. Dry weight is 12,359 pounds, and the hitch weight is 1,720 pounds. It has... 40 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, 40 gallons of waste water, but well. Yeah. I want everybody to notice the manual tongue jack. Yep. This is not made to be towed. Right. It's a destination trail. It's a park model. I don't care what you call it. It's made to set it and forget it. It is not aerodynamic. It's not tow friendly. Do not tow this around the country. Right. Don't do it. Yep. Don't even tow it. Hire the dealership to tow it. Hire a friend to tow it. Somebody with a one-ton truck or even a, a dually. 450 dually, something like that. Because it's a big, heavy, non-aerodynamic trailer, but it's made for that destination. Yeah. Park, the mountains, somewhere like that. Set it and forget it. Power tongue jack here and your batteries go here. And then right up front here, well, we have this awesome front windshield area. So even though it's not aerodynamic and even though it kind of sucks for towability, once you're on the inside and once you're at where you're going, you have an awesome view so I'm excited to show everybody. Okay. Coming on down here, manual stabilizing jacks. Nice. Womp, womp. Again, it's yeah, made to set. I don't know why set... I said nice. But yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense with this. Exactly. You set it down one time, and then you're good. Check out this door right here. Will, you have a nice sliding glass door. Yes, is that nice? it is. Really nice, and it's designed, Will, so you can have like a patio right here. Right. Uh, black fold-up steps, womp, womp. We but again, kind of those. the idea is build that patio and you get rid of the steps. Exactly, exactly. And then look at these tires, Will, and the radials. I love those. ST235-85R16. Look at how close the tires they are. They are, yeah. This is going to be, guys, I can't tell you. This is not going to be a great towing experience. Right. But it's a great living experience yep. once you're on the inside, okay? Uh, power coax and speakers on the outside in another door area right here okay now well it kind of sounds like we're being a little mean to the outside i know like we're not sensitive to its feelings yeah this unit stinks for all the reasons why rvs are phenomenal yeah but once you're in the inside it is one of the absolute best rvs on the entire it planet is. that's what i mean to say coming around the back here's where you hook up your cable no backup camera they don't want you towing it well, do you think people are picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, it's kind of funny. This is almost like the anti-RV. The whole thing with an RV is to like move around and travel. <clears throat> a little bit of storage. Okay. 50 amp power cord right there. Okay. Here's where you hook it up. Here's where you dump your tanks. Instant hot tankless water heater, outdoor shower, fresh water fill, city water connection, potable water. Potable. Potable. Suburban tankless water heater. And then here's where you dump another gray tank right there. Nice. Well, again, very simple on the outside. The outside looks in, but the inside mwah, looks amazing. Chef's kiss. The chef's kiss. <laughs> we'll go that way first. Show everybody what's okay. going on. All right, up front is this awesome living, <clears throat> excuse me. Living, dining, and kitchen area. <coughs> Coming towards the back. You have the bathroom right here. Nice loft area up top. 
and then a bedroom down below. Where are we starting today? Well, we're not even gonna play games. We're gonna start right here, but first, Give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Well, I told you guys, the inside is absolutely amazing. Look at these five pillars of windows. Beautiful. There it is. Up front here, we got two end tables. Power on both sides. Very nice sofa. This is a trifold sofa. Okay. This comes out to make a bed. Big, comfortable, spacious. Give me that, Will. Give me that camera. Okay. I want everybody to see a ceiling fan in an RV like yeah. this. And then we'll touch the roof. I can't. Raise the roof. Well, don't <laughs> don't jump, but raise the roof. Jump. Oh, yeah. raise the roof. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then sit on these theater seats right here. Okay. Even on the slide out, Will has tons of head space in here. How do you feel? Feels great. These recliners are very comfortable. Thomas Payne collection. Uh, it's a parachute style. You got cup holders, storage right there. Mm. And then the windows all the way around. I love how many windows are in here. Are fantastic. Now, what's really nice is across from the theater seats is the TV entertainment center, Furion. Sound system right there. Fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. And you do have this insignia television here with some storage above there. Yep. Very nice storage, easy to access storage and everything. Yeah, for sure. I did mention that Will did stand in the slide out. And even me, I mean, my arm's all the way up. On the slide out, it's not a flush floor. But it's not the carpet either, so right. it's definitely doable. Over here, we have very big boy, big boy, big boy, you know? Yep. Very nice table and chairs right here. Big boy tested, big boy approved. That's right. See, this one's tied down. Okay. The skinnier folk will be on this side. Yep. Again, it's extremely nice, gets the job done. You know you know what, Well, not a lot of bells and whistles, but just an overall solid unit that really just checks off the boxes. That's right. What do you got going on in there? Nice big pantry here with a trash can. Hey, that's a $178 trash can. Sure is. And then you got plenty of storage all the way around. The nice LG microwave. You got that too? Yep. Nice big microwave <coughs> right here. Okay. And then good backsplash here, great countertop space and power um, on both sides of the four burner insignia cup top. Very nice. Storage there. You got a nice big oven residential size there. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Very nice. Two drawers side by side. And then two drawers on top and underneath. Wow. Coming over here. Nice big refrigerator, residential style. Okay. And then a drawer freezer underneath. Very nice. Shelves. Nice little coffee nook over here. Wow. Great amount of countertop space and all your controls and everything are right there for your lights and then to check your tanks and all that. And then behind us, you have a really good sized kitchen island with a sink in it. Extension faucet, single bowl, solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen, and they look really nice. The sink is like the farmhouse style with some storage underneath. <clears throat> and then storage right there. Very nice. Well, this is beautiful. Did we show that little coffee nook there? We did, yep. Yeah. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I don't know why. But I feel like we're burning through this unit really fast. Think so? 
Yes. Okay. We need to slow it down. Okay. Uh, I like it like that. See, working that, that. I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. MSRP for me. MSRP for me. You know that song, Will? I do not. You need culture. I know. MSRP on stock number 298670. $98,854. MSRP. 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 Jen. Bing. Please call Cosmo and get the sale price and put it right there for everybody who's watching on television. And Will. See that sale price there? Yeah. I don't care what that sale price is. I know we can get everybody a lot better price than that. All you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us well, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. They will get you one thing and one thing only, and that is... The best price in America. And if you do buy an RV in the year 2024, Send me an email, matt at mattsrvreviews.com, and I will personally mail you a prime pooping position bobblehead. There we go. Well, you ready to show us this bathroom? Sure. All right. All right. Go stand in that shower, Will. Uh-oh. We got a lock to bob. Uh-oh. But no step up. <clears throat> oh, man. No, I mean, it's... Bylaws be bylaws. Yeah. How do you feeling there? Well, what, what's the going on? It's great. The depth is great. It's just like, man, it is right on that line. Because I kind of like imagine getting the shower head there. You know, and that's kind of like the determining factor. And you can do it in this. So I'm going to pass it. Bing! That's shower test seal approval. Will. Yeah. Just because it passes the shower test mm -hmm. and the bylaws. Doesn't mean it passes our three things we like and three things we don't right. like. So I might be mentioning that a little bit later. Okay. Over here, we got liquefied, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment sitting on the uh, countertop of very nice countertop. Yes. Hey guys, it's the camping season. Pick some up on Amazon. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Nice little storage right there. Nice mirror right there. Very nice. And we got some wicker baskets right there. There you go. Pour some toilet. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. Okay. You stand over here, Will. Yep. You'll be able to see a little bit of storage there. Yeah. And a little bit of storage there. Okay. All right. Coming on down. I love this big window right here. Right. We There's got so much natural light in here. Centralized vacuum right here. Okay. Look at these stairs to the second level, Will. We got the teddy bear series up here. Look at this. I'm so comfortable and nice. Oh, man. Ow. Stuck, huh? There you go. Let me tell you something, Will. Yeah? If it's the hot dog days of summer, I'm taking my nap up here. Right. I got plenty of space. The kids can sleep in the heat. Right. Even though it's not pushing down for some reason. It's not, it's not working in dump mode for some reason right now. It's still extra cool up here, which is very nice. I got plenty of space. It's actually for, not bad in this side. Not that side, I can't do this. Yeah. But this side, I have no trouble. And right here, we do got some storage here and storage here. I will say the airflow up here is pretty good though. Yeah, well, you want to climb up on that side? No. Are you going to? Yeah, I'll show everybody the difference. So okay. first and foremost, come back over here. Even though I'm a small adult, I am an adult, and I can sit up here just fine. Yeah. And so you guys can see the comparison. Don't get oh. stuck up there. Dang, I was well. I know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't even really get up there. You can't even sit. But what we do got is for the kiddos. A little bit of storage right there. And then it does overlook the living room area with curtains right here. And let me tell you, this air vent right here is flowing it extremely is. good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we are walking down the steps. And to make it a little bit better, Will, we, oh, oh, 
Oh man! Is it ducted in there? That is blowing good, ain't it? Good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool in here for. You know what? I bet you they covered that ductwork in there. Oh. Because I saw something in there. I'm like, what the heck's going on? That way it keeps pushing the Right, because the kids would heat. Because the kids, yeah. yeah, they freeze themselves out up there. Yeah. Which I wouldn't mind if I was up there. Look at this nice big window. Uh huh. Look at these nice slow rise blinds. It is the versatile bed. I love that. This gives you even more space. And this helps it with the stackable washer and dryer. Okay. So if you guys remember last year, there was an issue with stackable washer dryer because there wasn't the versatile. Bed. Right. So that's a huge increase. It is. Right here, we got some nice storage here. Okay. Okay. Good drawers, soft clothes, believe it or not. And then over here, here's the controls for the versatile. You got your drawers here. Okay. okay. Another one, another one. And another one. There you go. And it looks like there's storage when the <clears throat> bed is down, maybe. Yes. And then that's up. We going down, down, baby. Yep. Sing of the Range Rover. Zoom, zoom, baby. Ready to let it go. Chimmy, chimmy, cocoa pop. Pass it to me now. Put my first tilt up. Now I'm sleeping now. Hey. There you go. Do you understand the words that I say? Yeah. I feel like I mutter a lot. Kind of. Yeah. Sorry about that. Look at this. Very nice bed right here. Headboard, power, USB. Two windows on both sides. Check out that storage there as right well. Right there. Look at that. You, you like apples? Yeah. How do you like them apples? I like them. And then I like right here how they didn't put the boxy boxes Yeah, I do there. like that too, actually. I actually wouldn't mind seeing this real yeah. cool thing, actually. Very nice. Well, overall, a phenomenal unit, believe it or not, at a phenomenal price. Yes. It's crazy that you're getting this much space in an RV like this. Now, before we go, it's time we tell people three things that we love about this unit, three things that we don't like about it. Will, what, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. I mean, you're on the opposite side today. So, dislike number one. I always said that because last time we did. I know, but that's why I was saying I wanted to do dislikes first the other time. So, you give me dislike number one. I don't know that I have it. Okay, I got dislike number one. Oh, I do. Okay. Nope, but I'm, you can go. I, I'm taking yours. Okay. Are you going right in here? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's but what kind I'm of. Saying. No. Oh, okay. Cool. Just oh, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like number one, well, I don't like how this is right here. You know what? What's your what's your dislike? Completely non-related. Okay. Dislike number one and dislike number two. Dislike number one, I don't like this bathroom. I don't like how it's this material, the water's mm -hmm. going up and hitting this. I don't like how there's not a sky dome. And I don't like it because they have this loft area above here. Yeah. That's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two is the loft area right here. Right. I don't like it. I don't like how thin it is. I know. I don't like, like, you can't Like, it's already it. thin, and it really needs to be even thinner to accommodate a better bathroom. Bro, that side? Perfect. Phenomenal. Yep. This side? What are you doing? Yep. That's dislike number one and dislike number two. Will, what's dislike number three? Dislike number three is going to be um, this cool design with the destination trailers have, like, a huge debt. And like you really don't have that much space here because of that giant slide. Okay. Uh, so, and with this floor plan, there's probably no way around it. But me personally, I would like a little more, like a smaller slide, truthfully, to get rid of the dinette maybe. And then having a nice big patio rather than, you know, six feet of patio. There you go. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Love this kitchen. Yeah. Phenomenal. Residential feel and look. Residential feel, residential appliances, nice fridge, nice oven, solid surface countertop, kitchen island. This feels like a home to me. It does, yep. This does not feel like an RV. Right. That's number one. Can I go again? Yes. The living room. Yeah. Somebody say something. Something. <laughs> I didn't think you'd pick up on that. Love these windows. Love the feng shui in here. This is your traditional layout. It is. But it doesn't feel like I it. I know. That is love number two. Well, do you have a love number three? Yeah, I'm gonna say all the windows in here. Yes. I love how light and bright it is in here. The natural light, 
You can be out at the mountains or at the lake and have a phenomenal view while inside the house. Can I give you one more? Yeah. The versatile. Yeah, I do like Again, that. Again, big improvement for the washer dryer from last year. Yep. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying this RV or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-967-4033. What? Did you say that right? 844-967-4033. No, eight, I thought it was 969. No, 96... I don't know. Whatever number you see on the screen, <laughs> that's the number you call. Well, you have me second-guessing myself. I know. Now. Maybe it's Call the number me. you see on the screen. But guys, what this all does is takes you to a member of my team at General RV to get you the absolute best price in America. And if you do buy an RV from General RV in the year 2024, send me an email and I will mail you a prime pooping position bobblehead. That's right. Will, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all. 8969-4033. Is that what I said? You said 967. We'll call it 969. 4-4-9-6-9-4-0-3-3. Th thank you so much for the help. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And um, yeah, I, I love these destination trailers. I think they're so awesome, especially if you have a permanent site or a lot um, at the lake, in the mountains, whatever. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for watching. You. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.